All right. Um, so I take it that Blue Octopus 1 1 watched the recap. So can, do you guys want to give them a recap? Give yourselves a recap? Or you guys just want to jump on in? Uh, I have a question. So I saw that. So you guys defeated the stone golem and then you ascended and you guys talked to Sir Snood. And then there's a discussion about the Boghouse boys. Uh, are we, we're going to investigate what the Boghouse boys are doing. I guess I'm just like trying to figure out where we're at right now. Yeah. We're just going straight into that. From, okay. From my understanding. Yeah, because I don't have a ton of time tonight, so I'm sort of railroading you guys into a couple of key scenes. So we can, there probably won't be, I mean, depending on how you play it, there won't be too much meandering. So you guys will just have to forgive me. No worries. All right, with that, yeah, with that recap done, you guys have, oh, let me, let me add him in. I forgot Mr. Snood. Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, we never added Rusty. Trust you, Rusty. Who's that? Uh, the <laughs> dog that I ordered that was like 4 HP and elderly. Oh, then he hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> okay. Which, by the way, is a good thing, because I thought I could pull, like, a Jurassic Park. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Did but... you want to make him in Hero <laughs> Forge and I can add him? Oh, okay. Callie May's hubris almost got him killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did technically get him killed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he got them. Yeah, he walked it off. <laughs> All right. No, is Pierre Young here today? I don't think so. I haven't heard from him in a while. He might still be sick. So we get to hear your voice acting again. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh sorry, <my> God. everybody. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I will choose to take the compliment, Keasley. It is. Okay, thank it's you. It's great. It's very entertaining. Smurf. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> With that being said, you guys enter drag. Aha, my companions. Uh, we've re we've arrived in drag. Mm -hmm. This prince wants to get some milk and lick his butthole. So <laughs> don't disturb this prince. Snarf. Uh, really? um, okay. So where, where are we heading? Honestly, we left in such a rush. I can't recall. Well, um, Brother Crump received a, a very urgent message. Yes, he did. Brother Crump, would you like to re-read the message just to reacquaint your compatriots? Oh, Hoot Bro. Yes. How... What a coincidence. How serendipitous is this that you would be entering drag you'd be here at the entrance of drag just as we arrived. <laughs> I'm not a godly man, but hmm, even I recognize the signs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real recognize real sir Snood. Thank you, bro. Indeed. <laughs> yes. You've missed quite a lot, Hootbra. Yeah, sorry I had to bail from that crazy dungeon early, but I'm sure you guys had fun. Kelly May didn't. I had a great time. If you see him walking funny, well. <laughs> Grab some smoke. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it's not. I was a bird. Before. I was hoop raw. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, if it's a euphemism for almost getting devoured by a crocodile, then 
I got slammed sure. up against a wall. Okay, so at worst, it's like my ribs. Ooh, you know sounds... what? You're right. I'm just gonna get my head out of the gutter. <laughs> if anything, they might be breathing funny. You know, not walking funny. I saw that tail whip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all. But, maybe yes, I, I have the letter here. I've pulled it out. If uh, you would all like me to reread. So, you know, I hate to deliver bad news twice, but yes, you know. Well, it's the first time oh, for Hoopra, uh, so have at it. Yeah, what's that? All right. So, I got a letter from the Reverend Mother, and apparently, the Boghouse boys are plotting. To burn the mayor's wife. You're going to burn her at the stake. They're accusing her of witchcraft. So we have to stop them. We can't let this blasphemy, this, this violent act come to fruition. We must stop them. Mm. Do you understand now the gravity of the situation? Look, you uh, shot two Brenda silence. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, that's really crazy. Uh, do you have you you know for sure they're planning on burning her? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Reverend Mother wouldn't wouldn't lie about something like that. We could talk to her in person and just sort of get confirmation, make sure that this wasn't you know a letter that someone uh, plagiarized or anything like that. But but yeah, I I, I don't see why this would be. Uh, a false positive. Would would the mayor know what's going on, or not really? Oh, uh, I don't know. Honestly, the mayor should find out. He we should let him know as soon as we can. That's uh, a I wonderful we can do idea. That Maybe you should go and visit his residence. I'm going to head back to my kiosk. Well, good luck, adventurers. I pray that no one dies today. Thank you, Snurd Snood. Again. No one dies again. <laughs> what do you mean? I have oh, seen also, the I found this um, missing persons notice. Have you seen it? Is it about a goose? It is. Yes. Um, I'm sure the goose is fine and not cooked. Let's go. What about the goose from the dungeon? Did you see yes. it? I think oh, it was no. in the dungeon. Yes, yes. The goose had wandered the away. Druminal. Oh, you mean that one that's coming out from the distance, entering drag? Uh -huh. Just give me just give it a minute. <laughs> I think I can see him coming. All that reading. It's doing terrible things to your eyesight. Risa. Ah, see, there it is. Nope, hey. yeah, I guess we have seen it. Yep. Are you Mimic Buddy or are you Geese? What? Never mind, I'm not going to no, do no. anything. <laughs> Look, you weren't there. You had to be there. An inside okay. joke. Okay, I, I know when I should leave. Toodaloo! Also, pardon, I cannot do my accent because my nose is really stuffed up today. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to do with this? Uh, pick up... Callie will pick up the goose under his arm. I think you owe Farmer Finkel a goose, so perhaps it'll all work out. Yeah. We're going to take him to Finkel's after we deal with yeah. the... Uh, Birded. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tie a little bit of rope around. Oh, oh, hey, it's okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it is mimic, buddy. I thought you were a cart. Oh no! Right. So the other goose is still in the uh, dungeon, Eddie. So are you right, sure? Mimic, buddy. What, what if we? This? What if? I forgot he was supposed we to be so small. What if we still take the goose to Farmer Finkel? 
fool him into thinking this is his goose and then just have the mimic run away, you know? And then at that point, you know, it's his fault for losing the goose. It's not like we did anything because... Oh, wait. There's two we geese. Haven't done anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it did just run away as far as he knows. <laughs> Which one's oh. the real one? Okay. The small one. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Got it. Yeah, it's currently following my big buddy. All right, well, s scratch that. Ignore anything I just said. So shall we go to the mayor's house, I suppose? Or is it yeah. uh, the church? Uh, I think we should go to the mayor first. Okay. Very well, then. Grisha, River, lead the way. I'll be right behind you. I assume the mayor's residence is closer than than the church, so. Oh, hi, uh, adventurers. Where are y'all running off to? Uh, about to go see. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all see them sketchy folks about the smokehouse? Ah, is those it? must be the bog house boys. Is I don't know. They were wearing strange outfits and there was an elf that looked just like you river but a man do you have a twin brother well not exactly twins but where How are you not you're either, it's a, you either are or you're not oh you're like irish twins born within the same calendar year <clears throat> well it's things are different for elves but i guess it would kind of be the same for you they're at the smokehouse? We should go... Wait, what's this about a boghouse boy? Somebody is threatening to burn down the church. They're burning... What the... We need to go. If you'd like to come along... No, I'm going to stay hero. here. If they try burning down my establishment, well, I mean... Oh, certainly don't. John Sunderman's going to be one foot in the bill, but still, this is my, my livelihood. Indeed. Anyway, um, yeah, you, uh, that, that sounds like hairy business. I don't want any part of it. Good luck. Bye. Uh, I wouldn't let this place burn anyways. All right. Um, are we still headed down, or should we go to the um, smokehouse? Well, no, correct me said if I'm, it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 please. I was going to say, whatever is closer. Uh, the, the mayor's house is on the way. <clears throat> I think the smokehouse is near the dock, unless I'm horribly mistaken. It's towards Farmer Finkel's. Okay. Smokehouse is north then, right? But it'd be south yeah. on our compass? On the, on the compass, it's south. And yeah. the church is west on the compass. So the mayor's place... Is straight ahead. It's a really tall building on stilts. Yep. yep. <clears throat> the church is further ahead yeah. on the dock. And then to the your left. House. Yeah, it's to your left. Yeah. You guys should be able to. Oh, okay. Who's this? Oh, the drunkard. Never mind. Hoorah, hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bro, how's it going? Do you remember my name? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Upra, this is, I'm being serious. Where are you? Where'd he go? Upra, where are you? We can, we can, let's keep going, dude. No, it's, I'm serious. <laughs> I found out that Bumblebee's got earworms. <laughs> earworms? Oh, well, you don't want to know anymore, so... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch up you with you later. You don't have this quest hook. I'll, I'll catch. I'll catch up with you later, dude. I'll, we'll we'll catch up. For all you know, it was a times quest, and you lost out on it. <laughs> 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 I can see when I'm not wanted. Alpha or beta or what is your name, sir? I'm Epsilon. 
Epsilon. <laughs> that was going to be actually my first guess, but I doubted myself. But um, have you seen any suspicious activity around the mayor's house? Yes. Look behind you, you dunce. There's a fire right on top of the jailhouse. That's very rude of you, Epsilon. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that's exactly you know, where... Some of us are nearsighted. That's exactly where my screen cut off. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. There's, like, some people down here, too. Grisha and company enter the mayor's residence. We will switch to them momentarily. <laughs> Who's with you? Trump. All right, well, if Crump's there, then, yeah, the, we'll focus on the two of you for now. All right. Uh, come on, we must make haste. We need to warn the mayor as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm also out of breath, and but Shit. I continue passing the pipe that me and Crump, that is causing me and Crump <laughs> to be out of breath because we're just both heavily smoking <laughs> while we're running. <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh, oh shit. Careful with this. Is someone in that bed? Oh, never mind. Those are some pillows. Oh, boy. Careful. You fell last time. <laughs> As you guys ascend these stairwells, you do see the um, unconscious body of Mayor Monocles. No. He oh, is unconscious. No. He looks pale. There are dark circles under his eyes. He looks like, you know, there's like vomit and stuff all around him. God damn it. Oh, let me see. He is still alive. Okay, okay. Uh, ah. Uh. But he's he's uh, incapacitated. Is he yeah. incapacitated? What do you think, Grisha? Uh, let me... Judge. I guess... Oh, my survival Should... skill is five. This man is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, uh, let me get a second opinion. Uh, I'm going to roll... I'm going to roll... Uh, wisdom. Okay. D20. Whoa. Bruh. You think he's oh dead too. <laughs> oh Even though you both clearly see him, uh, he's got shallow breath. His stomach's kind of raising up and down, but you guys both think he's dead. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Ruben, just because I don't, he has, he has no stats, so that's just going to be a straight wisdom roll, but he also um, thinks that he's dead. Yeah. Atrocities. We got here too late. Oh, man. The Bog House boys would pay for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cradle the mayor's body in my arms. I'm gonna just start wailing. He wheezes. Like, too soon. When you when you like lift him up, he like wheezes. <gasps> oh, I think he might not be dead after all. Um, there is Trump a ben, time God. <laughs> did you ever doubt that? Not Do now, not brother Crump. Not now. <sighs> all right, muttering. He's muttering right. something. What is it, Mayor? I, I think I need to cast uh, a lesser healing. I think I need to say a prayer to heal this this downtrodden mayor. Oh my goodness, he's on his last legs. All right, Crump. Uh, I guess is going to cast lesser healing. So that scratches out my use for today. My lesser healing use for today. Okay. All right. Actually, I think since I'm level three, I can cast twice a day, no? Let me look at the... Yeah, I have to double there check. Um, all right, so... Uh, 
Crump gets on his knees, uh, you know, folds his hands together and proceeds to to chant uh, or I guess pray um, say the same prayer three times and then the blessing falls upon the mayor and uh, he I guess uh, magically <laughs> it gets better he can breathe at least yeah you can cast uh, two level one spells per day and one level two spell per day the mayor, uh, although he's standing up straight in his token, he's still, you know, lying down, covered in vomit, All right. looking very sickly. Oh, th- thank you, Ventura. What happened, mayor? Where's your wife? I don't know. I think she put something in my food. Did he put something in your food? I think she did. Well, the reason why we even showed up here in the first place is to tell you that your wife is in danger. Apparently, these bog house boys were planning on burning her at the stake. I didn't realize you would be in any kind of danger yourself. There's something in that fish. I know it. Well. Take me. Yeah. I could have told you that. (laughs) I guess we'll have to look around. Was anyone else with with you here? Or was it just you and your wife? Kevin was here. But I don't know where he went to. All right, well, he will switch down on ground level to the rest of the party. All right, so Shadwell, River Under Stars, Callie May Never Bleed, and Hoot Bra Wood Fluffle. You there. Oh. Which one? Man with cup. Aye, it's the landlubbers. I ain't seen you in a while. What's going on here? Doesn't it look like it? It's some sort of burning. Is that why you're here? Of course. You can Wait, are you here to walk? Or? Roll a charisma. Shadwell. Okay. You can see this man looks a bit more upset than the rest of the spectators. This man whom you recognize as Lyron Shaw Diggory, the geographist. (laughs) Yeah. I remember this guy. You seem a bit unnerved. Well, why wouldn't I be? They're going to burn that woman alive. Where is she? Right above the jailhouse. Can't you see? You know, not all of us were blessed with good vision. Well, if you, if you need more vision, just grab the green thing on the right and drag it upwards. <laughs> I see. Uh, So... Uh, is there, do you know why there's a burning happening? They say that she, and then just as he starts talking, you do hear someone from the top start shouting. This woman is a witch of the drone. Come to poison drag. She has put a foul taint on all the food here. You must have felt it, residents of drag. The sickness from eating. Just as Callie Mae tries to sneak sneak past the guards, you need to roll stealth. Oh, okay. Oh, they're... Whoop your ass. (laughs) (laughs) Callie Mae could try to Jurassic Park them. 
Oh, God, never again. Can't be here, Sam. This is some sort of terrorist operation. Oh, Ooh, boy. Still? Well, tell me what you do. I don't. I, I, uh, <clears throat> Kelly, um, he, he, he just thought, like, oh no, something's happened. So he was just literally going to walk past, not realizing the guards were going to stop him. <laughs> and the constable with his annoying voice. Uh, hey, so, yeah, while the terrorist is giving his speech. But wait, wait, hold on. You, you, we, we can't. We can't burn the mayor's wife. <clears throat> I don't want that to happen, but we must first hear the terrorists' um, statement. We shouldn't negotiate with terrorists. Hmm, how very diplomatic of you, sir. They're terrorists. There's on only one the thing they deserve, and that's the sword. I ask you, people down there on the ground, have you been sick, touched by the taint of the food? I know he has, and he points at Hubra, because everyone saw him shit all over the mermaid's <laughs> arm. <laughs> Yo, dude, that, that was it. That was not... You deny it? <laughs> Are you in league with the Droon as well? No, I think she deserves a fair trial. Grab him. <laughs> oh. No. Uh, that's, I'm okay. <laughs> Wait, why are you just burning her instead of like, you know, using evidence and stuff with laws? The evidence is the fact that her husband was poisoned and left for dead on his balcony. That's How do we not know really... you didn't do that? Yeah. Because I say I didn't. Very convincing. And How I do say... I know you didn't do it? He's I'd like you horse. to come down here and accuse me to my face. Oh. Jumps down? You! <laughs> did you do it? Break his finger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Bite him, horsey. <laughs> yeah, the horse uh, is going to try to stomp on his foot. Okay. He's going to try to dodge. Okay, so I'm rolling a 20. Yep. Okay. No, that's a miss. <coughs> that's what I thought. Wait a moment before you go. What? Who are you? Should we have met you before? Yes, I am one of the friars of the church. And where is the Reverend Mother? Oh, she's right over there. Didn't you see her? Uh, uh, where? Yeah. No, I, I don't. Should I? Is she out? There she is. And then as he walks by, you hear her shout, Brig, Brig, how dare you? This is blasphemous. Wait, yeah, Mr. Brig or whatever your name is. Well, how do we know this ain't just a setup? Because, like, maybe, you know, someone's trying to frame the mayor and his wife. Have any of you been paying attention? She's a witch of the Droon and a harlot. We have under good authority that she is having an affair with Lyran Shah Diggory. All right, but like, that don't deserve no burning. What about 
poisoning the food of the smokehouse and all of Dreg. Is that enough? Okay, again, you ain't got no evidence. And also, how do you know the witch? And he throws a fish at you, and it's gross and purple and disgusting. But you didn't see her do it, like just because she fed the mayor, and now he's dead. Why is she can't be that busy, dude? She she can't poison people and her own husband's food. Yes. An affair and wives have, been, wives have done it before. Somebody you, needs to call Nibbles H. Cotton Socks right now. Hmm, yeah, yeah that will get the crystal ball. Wait, I'm not going to leave. <laughs> You're a clever knight. Well, then have Epsilon call him. Somebody's on him. It's a crystal ball. You can bring it out, can't you? And hold it out here. All right. We are going to burn this woman now. Or the other wrong voice. All right. We're going to burn this woman now. I thought the guard switched sides for a moment. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can we, like, come with, like, a deal or something, sir? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Have your teammates descended with... The wounded mayor? I'm not sure. They might not make it in time. So you're you're the constable, right? Like, why are you letting him do this? Why why are you like investigating and such? Because I don't like her. Oh, that's simple enough. What she do? She fed me terrible fish stew, and I shit my pants. Call this oh. karmic justice. Maybe she didn't know the fish was bad? Hmm, <laughs> something's wrong with the fish. And once he's done... This situation. Once this situation's done, I'm going to investigate the smokehouse. So, wouldn't it make more sense for you to do that before killing a possibly? I'm not killing her. He is. I'm You're just an making sure. To murder. I'm just making sure you don't get involved. Yeah, that's accomplice, man. You're making sure no one stops him. If you hold someone down. And then your friend stabs him. I, Is that how they do it in fairy? Well, this, oh. this whole situation sounds like something that's happening in fairy. It doesn't sit right with me. Where is the other elf that looks like me that's not me? That's another elf that looks like you. Yes. Hmm. This is the first time yes. part of it. All elves kind of look like each other. It's, it's okay. All right, Brother Crump, Grisha, have you guys... Exited the mayor's house yet? Oh uh, no! I thought I just figured it paused when we when we yeah. Um, but yeah, let but I guess uh, let's just say wanna, like just keep playing. You guys don't while. find anybody upstairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I was gonna uh, yeah. Uh, You're gonna what? I originally intended to investigate and see if there's like signs of a struggle or if she left voluntarily, but. That yeah, she left that. voluntarily. It looks like um, she packed her bags. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we will. We'll have to escort the mayor back down to safety. Something's something smells fishy <laughs> about this whole situation. I agree, yeah. Brother Crump, but I think perhaps it was just it could have been just something of the flesh. She could have just been leaving him. You guys just can just jump off the balcony to save yourself right. time. Woo! Just then, as you guys are talking about accomplices and fairy, uh, Grisha and Brother Crump and the mayor descend the stairs. It's one of those, you know, where 
they're both holding him under an arm. Oh, I went too far. We lost Crump. He's in the other there dark. <laughs> Madison, Madison, why have you done this? The mayor is alive. Oh, my word. By the Pluritine Lord, the mayor is alive. Mayor, we thought for sure that this woman was poisoning you. Well, yes, I suppose she was. What? So wait, you mean to tell me you all apprehended the mayor's wife but left him to die? Poisoned? Why would you not try to reach a healer to at least assess if he was dead or not? Well, Reverend Mother told us she was going to send the best healer she knew. Some guy, some, um, I don't know, brother slump or something like that. <clears throat> I believe you mean brother Crump? I don't know. It's kind of a stupid name. I, I can't really remember it. Who are you? Who are you exactly? I'm Brig. Really? Brig Meager? Yeah. Mm, meager. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh. Who are you? I was... Look trying at the to haircut. Please, yeah, you you really gonna try hair. to down this talk down to me after after my companion and I just saved the mayor? Yeah, well, okay, you did your job, and now let me do my job. Burning this drone witch. You have no proof of that. She she spoiled and tainted the meat. What do you mean? The meat could have been tainted beforehand. Well, at the smokehouse. All the meat, yeah, at the smokehouse, which we saw her sneaking around in the middle of the night. She starts screaming, no, it's a misunderstanding. No, I was just going to see Sancho. I was just going to go see him. Yeah, sounds like more like an affair thing gone wrong. But, like, anyway, if you all burn her, then that's not true justice because then y'all can't get any answers from her and such, right? Because if she has accomplices and stuff, if you just kill her, then all that information dies with her. True. Hmm. He's a clever one. <laughs> For a braggle. Oh, you, you little... What did you just say? For a braggle. <laughs> you dare say such a thing on Lord Maltby's I'll say it net? one more time. For a braggle. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Y'all let's burn him instead. Oh yeah, who, who is it? Who was that? Omega? No, I'm the constable, <laughs> Stacy. Uh, why are you racist? What? You know, compared to Shaw Diggory here, that's the drop in the bucket. He's a geographist. <laughs> yeah, we don't like him much either, and he don't like us, so. I don't bring me into this one, lover. See? I, I get my girl back. Yeah, that's right, Monocles. I said it. And he goes to, like, rush past you guys to, like, punch the mayor. Oh, no. Let me just stop him. Uh, bro, hmm. bro. Hold me back, bro. Uh, River's going to grab uh, him. Uh, Okay, hold okay. Me back, you're gonna roll. Hold me back, but he's like, he's doing that performative thing where he's, you're not really <laughs> resisting it. He's like, hold, gonna... basically holding you. <laughs> hold me back. I, if this, if this elf lasse one here, I'd give you a wallop, Yalan Lubber. And you there, Birdman, I'm looking at you, <laughs> shitting all over the mermaid's arms, are you? <laughs> You don't yeah, know. We it. talk behind your back, Brumbledink. He's sort of spreading the word about you. <laughs> He's he doesn't know anything. You're you've had too much to drink. I've been teetotal for the last ten years. I take offense to that, Mister Shits a lot. <laughs> <laughs> up up top, Madison screams, "Please, somebody help me! There's fire here." That's it. Um, Get out of my garlic. way, Constable. Why? 
He's because you're attempting to commit murder. Why should I? Because I'm going to trample you if you don't, don't get want... out of my way. Yeah, but she's ruining the food of drag. You have no proof of this accusation. Yes, we've tracked down that anyone who eats the fish gets diarrhea. Hi. Constable, I'll have you know, Friar. if you murder this woman, if you allow her to be murdered, I will make sure that we get, I will make sure myself, I will make sure. personally make sure mm -hmm. that we crucify you if we mm -hmm. eventually prove her to be innocent. I'll do the hammering myself. But she's already, but we know she's having an affair. That don't an mean, affair okay, is look. not a poisoning. How do you know that the mayor isn't aware of that? Maybe he's into that sort of thing. I'm not. <laughs> I guess that answered that part of the question, but still. <laughs> Look. Listen, I asked her to stay with me just until this whole fiasco with Madame Shantywood blew over. It would really look poorly on my... Um, my vision, my visage, if how I look, if I lost my wife during this very stressful time in my residency as mayor, I don't think Lord Mobley would be very appreciative of that. So they had an agreement. Why would she break that agreement? What would she have to gain? by poisoning the mayor now if he was aware of the affair. If they had both mutually agreed to put on this facade for, <clears throat> you know, the mayor's political gain. Oh, Brother Langson, I knew you'd come to the right conclusion. Of course, uh, <clears throat> Mayor, what's your wife's name again? My wife's name is Madison, but that's not my wife. That's the Reverend. Madison. Reverend. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, wow. That Apologies. My wife's on, <laughs> the, on top being burned. <laughs> where, where, where is the Reverend Mother? I hear her I'm voice, right but. Right here. Brother Langsorn, uh. are you cursed with blindness? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps like momentarily. Brother Langshorn, simply grab the green diamond on the right side of your screen. Drag it upwards and you'll see Madison being burned alive. Wait, she's right actively above, burning? Right above yeah. the jailhouse, don't you see? No, actually her figure ain't there. That's why I was like going upstairs to see if that was like someone's actually getting burned. We don't got light of sight up there. She's there. She's there. Some of us, we it. gotta stop her. Somebody, can we can we go up there or something just to and then talk this out? I don't want you up there, the constable says. Uh, Honestly, Simple constable is at gonna this try point. to like bum rush the constable. <laughs> okay, and, and push right. past her on the horse. It's a man. <laughs> I'm gonna roll climb to climb up the side. <laughs> All right, let's do a strength for Shadwell. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Sick. He's just Oof. like, clop, clop, clop. <laughs> oh, no. It's rushing. Just gonna One of the other bog house boys is at the top of the stairs. He looks scared, but he's uh, courageously holding his, his place. Don't come up here. We have to stop the drone. He's going to just charge at this bog house boy. Okay, another strength. Why Get out of my that? way! Kalima, you want to do uh, strength or dex or what? To uh, uh, read your way up there. Uh, strength, I guess. Upper body, let's go. This Boghouse boy tries to hold his ground, and he does. He kind of waves his arms, and he spooks Cloudy just a little no. bit. Uh, oh, Kelly, man, you very, well, because there's bars over here, you just very slowly climb up. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Is anybody else going to do it? I'm going to join you. I'm going to join you, Kelly May. Um, <laughs> is, is there only this 
soldier blocking, I guess, and the innkeeper. They're the only two blocking the the other entrance. Or like yep. towards the stairs. Well, you do you might recognize this guard. I don't know if you remember him. The one that okay, that one. No, nah, they all kind of look the same to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, they literally are wearing the same uniform. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Our well, uh, he's, the he is the guy who you bribed before. Ah. Uh, hey, I remember you. Oh. Yeah, I remember I, uh, you know, I gave you a little something on the side so you could help me out. And it turns out I never even needed your help to begin with. Well, that's not my fault. But um, You scammed yeah. me. Um, listen, my boss, the constable, he got knocked out, so I don't feel bad saying this, but... um. Yeah, that dude's in uh, Madam Shantywood's pocket. So, uh, my allegiances lie with Lord Mobley. Awesome. You're you're a good lad. All right. Well, uh, yeah. You guys better handle this, and then go check out the smokehouse because uh, it looks like uh, the sun's setting. All right. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We only got thirty more minutes. We must be off. The sun's Ooh. getting real low. Crump, crump is a. Uh... Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, um, that, uh, that light. All right, before you do that, I'm going to see if uh, Grisha wants to do anything. Grisha's the only one left. Um, we Grisha's just going to smoke his pipe. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll um, go up here and um, there's a, I, I believe Madison can give me a light. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Dude, oh, I can't believe he said that. Does a does a constable have a spear? It's a it's like a fishing harpoon. Yeah, can River take that? Will anybody say it? Will that? technically be considered theft, but yes, she may. Uh, she'll leave it. Okay. I'm walking up behind the horse, but so I'm being. I'm trying to rush up, but then I'm also hanging back because just in case, like. I know, like, horses like to just, like, poop at any given second, right? Or pee, yeah. As far as I know, yeah. Okay, well, they give you a bit of a sign. It's more like he'll kick you before he poops on you. Yeah, they're, they're yeah but, it, I mean, any time, any time could be go show. time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back at the top of the stairs. All right. Yeah, what are you doing, Shadwell? Uh, Shadwell's just going to try to, like, brute force his way past this guy. All right, what have you done differently this time than the previous attempt? Instead of just at charging at him, he's just going to, like, straight up trample past. <laughs> okay, one more strength. This guy's going to try waving his hands again. Whoa, whoa, but it's you, you knock him down. I said get out of my way. <laughs> please, please. She's a drone. I know she is. Don't That's not me. for you to decide. Eurisha, River, come help. Crump. Callie Mae and Hubra just climb up top. <sighs> okay. Free this woman. What are you guys going to do? As you get close, you take... Um, Two points of fire damage. Oh. If you get close. Wait, like, she's been burning for a while. How is she alive? Um, she's, she's hurt she's pretty bad. Oh. Um, quick. Someone. Fuck. Cloudy, Try to put out the, the fire. Cloudy, be <laughs> on the fire. I thought maybe she really was a witch and she was just like floating above the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I could show her being bound. Wait, I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna. Why don't I float her out of there? Or she, but she's tied. She's tied to the post, huh? She is tied. Yeah. Dang. Okay. What, what, if someone, what were you gonna use? If someone could, like a hot air balloon. No, if someone can cut her ropes, maybe I can use floating disc and float her somewhere nearby. <laughs> River will lunge forward and pull a dagger. And attempt to cut the bonds. 
to the the stake. Okay. At the same time, right. because if she falls, she burns. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. So, um, what are you guys gonna roll for that? Dex um, strength. I'm thinking it's gonna be Dex. Okay. It's it's a flat roll. Uh, okay, uh, ten or above. Here we go. And then you just need to narrate. Whoa! Whoop. All Whoop. right, Ho- Hootie. All right, no, both of you guys narrate it. What happens? Ah. Yeah. So river, river lunges forward. Uh, I'm sure that. Oh. Do I still take the whoa? Do I take the um? You will take two points points of damage damage unless somebody wants to jump in and say they took care of the fire. (coughs) Sorry, no one had your back. Yeah, you take two (laughs) points of damage. It's all good. It's all good. All right, Hoopra. You didn't need to roll for that, but what uh, you can narrate it. Uh, So I cast um, a a disc, like an invisible disc under her uh, and lift her slightly to at least just the side, like to like one of the edges Near where, where uh, what side is this? Where Brother Crump is? Yeah, kind of like over there, behind Brother Crump, or on top of him. All right. Heathens, I tell you, this this woman is a drune witch. I know for a fact that if we go to the smokehouse right now, she will reveal her secrets. What proof do you have, brother? Call it a hunch, brother. Well, well if she go. reveals her secrets, then that would be better for us to know them than for them to die with her. Don't you think? No. I think every dead drone is a victory for the Florentine. Exactly. Drew. Then how can we stop more Drune if we can't find them if all of her secrets die with her? Think. Mm. Think. Hmm, you bring up a good point, but if only we had spoken to you earlier, maybe we wouldn't have fallen down such a dark path. You if don't only, say, if brother. If only the Gosnier. Reverend Mother had told someone in your party, you good and lawful adventurers, about us. Maybe you could have saved us, but I guess we weren't worth your time. Or maybe because we're called the Boghouse Boys, you got us confused with those hooligans at the Riverside Shack. We'll never know. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. All right, so because we... You can't put that on him. Atrocities. All right, so because we are running out of time, I do apologize, but we're going to have to just rush to the next, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, I I say that we bring them as witnesses. We get her medical Medical treatment, and then we immediately go, whoever wants to see what's going down at the smokehouse can come and watch from a distance, but we're going to... All right. um, Yeah, while you guys do that, just let me know where I should move these... NPCs. Your prisoners are going where? Uh, where's the where's the smokehouse? Um, North. It's yeah. It's North. If you guys head east on the compass and then head south on the compass. Can we lock them up in the jail underneath us for now? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Right. Who are you guys locking up? The constable first and foremost. Yep, she's racist against Briggles. It's a man. (laughs) (laughs) Are you assuming their gender? No. I'm used to Pure Yang doing that, not you, (laughs) Kuzu. Well. (laughs) Yo, Cali man, come here, lady. I know. Are you guys going to lock up anybody else? The fire's still warm. Uh, Do we need to burn anybody? <laughs> Y'all, okay, uh, let's uh, lock up the um, the the boys, the Shake Shack boys. Shake <laughs> <laughs> Shack? Uh, yeah, just for now. And especially <laughs> Brig Neger. <laughs> You'll rule the day you imprison me, Brother just- Lankshorn. 
What about this cowardly guy over here by Grisha? Y'all, we just need y'all to sit tight for now, okay? We'll we'll come back and let y'all out when things get clear. So just let's, yeah, let's you take too, coward, coward with us. <laughs> you want to take coward with us? Yes. All right. He can bear <laughs> I mean, witness to the truth. What are you gonna hey, do the, with the um with Madison, uh, Mayor Monocles, and Sancho Shadigri? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we should take the um, brother with us so that he can see with his own eyes. Yeah, no. definitely. <laughs> and then we could. Oh. All right, I don't want to lug around too many NPCs, so I'm just going to bring him. And then... Uh, um, oh, is Madison staying? or she, she has to come, right? I think she should go to the church if she's hurt and then, you know, rest mm -hmm. and get treatment. Yeah. So you don't want to Her. confirm if she was a drone or not. Okay. Well, yeah. you said she was really hurt, is she? I think we're gonna Yeah, she's like burn her feet are all blistered yeah. up. <laughs> uh Crumple carry her. How romantic. You can put her on no, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crump sees him carrying her. He's like, yeah, bro, what are you doing in my car, bro? <laughs> do you want to carry her? You lazy I, bastard. Yeah, I do. <laughs> She's my queen, my princess. But she's actually she, she mayor's wife. Out from... I right, know, it uh, doesn't get easy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I really loved her. I thought she was the one. Don't worry, brother. You'll find somebody. Better look next All time, right. I'll lead you, since none of you know where the smokehouse is, I'll lead you there. Come on, follow me. Quick travel to Kelly May if you guys want to go to the smokehouse. Uh, I like being the quick travel node. <laughs> we the eighth or right? Wait, uh, she... yeah. Kelly May's underwater. What? No, I'm right here by the by the tree. Oh. You see, Droon, I see them, four of them, and one of them looks just like that elven maiden with you. Mm. You guys got to be on this side, though. Oh. The rumors of my drowning were exaggerated. Uh, I'm with you guys in spirit, but I'm I'm a little. <laughs> little... Are you the one underwater? <laughs> you gotta learn the left click, <laughs> double click thing. River under stars, make a morale save. Just right. left click. And um, then. you do recognize this individual. As none other than Seven Steps at Dawn, your brother. Dun dun dun! Uh, River will. The, I'm sorry. Uh, the two of you means? share a glance very briefly, and then uh, Seven Steps at Dawn turns as if, you know, not acknowledging your existence. She's going to sprint forward and tackle. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm. eight, nine, ten. Five, Emily Drava. Twelve. We have to stop him. He turns back to you and he whispers something in the wind. In old, uh, old Sylvan. I will DM it to you. Very good. Then he turns to go.
<clears throat> She's going to let him go. Does she hear anything going on in the smokehouse? Uh, nothing from the outside, but you might have to go inside and investigate. River, what's going on? Something very bad. Very, very bad. We need to get inside here. I don't think... I don't know what to think. All right, I suppose let's go in. Come on, fam. Let's open this door. All right, who's going to do the honors? Lottie, really, mate? You're going to do it? Oh, Kill him, mate? Okay. Describe how you attempt to open this door. Uh, I will test to see if it's unlocked. It is unlocked. Oh, cool. <laughs> kick it open. All right. You're going to kick it open all loudly, even though the drone just walked away. No, nah, right. I wanted to because it, it, was, it was locked, but it's unlocked. So I'll just open it. All right, you open it. Am I, am I going in first, guys? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, what do you see inside? You guys can uh, narrate to your companions what you see. Uh, a trap door and bags of stuff. Uh, Kelly's gonna try to open the trap door. It's locked. Also, Blue Octopus One One, where are you? <laughs> Help me! I I'm trying to find you guys. I'm I'm trying to find you guys. Do the shift click thing. I did. I did the shift click thing, and it wouldn't let me get to your level. To the level. Let me. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> make sure the green is high. Yeah, make the green go all the way up. Okay. I'm so happy you're back because the hoopla curse was on me when you were gone. Oh, okay. I'm above. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Okay. Yay. Okay. I see I see the surface. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly now. Uh, um all right, so uh, there's hatches. Y'all, there's a hatch in here, and it's locked. We should probably try to open it somehow. Are you any good at lock picking? I've got a crowbar. That counts as a lock pick. Yes, sure. All right, give it a try. Uh, should, uh, Krupp, Mr. Strong Arms, you and I, we should try. Crowbar at it open. All right. Oh, don't gotta go? tell me twice. Oh shit! <laughs> Shoot, where did I go? Well, start. Oh, there it is. You're on the roof. Right strength. Sorry, strength. All right. Woo. Eleven. Not enough. Woo. So bet we can't get cloudy to stop on this thing. Oops. Well, you know, there's a very strong gentleman standing right next to me. Grisham? Yeah. You mind giving us a hand or two? I can, I can try. I believe in you, Grisha. Mm-hmm. You can call do it, it. Out. Call it out. 11. Not enough, sorry. 11 plus, what's your modifier? Two. That is enough. 13 is what you needed to reach. Nice. <clears throat> All 
Sorry, uh, give me just one sec. My belief in you was well founded. I had started to doubt myself. I have a I've had a lot of recent accidents. Maybe I just maybe it's the muscles spasming. All right. Disuse. Well, Grisha, you may attempt to open the door now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, where's River? Inside. Oh, dang. All right. Never mind then. We're talking about this trap door, right? Yeah. All right. What was the 13 for? To bust it open. Okay. Oh, you meant like physically. Yeah. It was locked, so now you can right click and open it. Yeah. Uh, River, you, for whatever reason, go outside to maybe take a smoke or something, and uh, a a strange (laughs) breeze um, goes past you, you know, dust and flowers. Basically like the beginning of Final Fantasy VIII, if you guys ever saw that. Was it like the mummy? Or the mummy, yeah. Mm. Um, And I will send you the private message. Uh, Grisha and whoever else is inside, you guys do see that the... Trap door opens to a subterranean room. What do you guys do? Hey, uh, Grisha, did uh, busting that door make you feel good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you see, busted makes you feel good? <laughs> makes me feel good. <laughs> Kelly pokes his head down to look inside. Where's that uh, cat? We could throw it in there. <laughs> also, there's... Uh, I'm going to add... Um, yeah, what are the rest of you guys doing outside? Um, it's dismounting to go in there. Okay. Trump is... Making his way in. He's walking. Describe how you enter. Uh, Crump slowly enters the building. He's wary. He's, he, uh, I'm going to roll a detect magic. Okay. Crump senses something. Call it out. Seven. <laughs> no, he doesn't sense anything, actually. Hmm. Uh, Kelly peeks his head in. What does he see? Can I describe it to them? Or? Yeah, uh, you can describe what you actually do see on the map. Uh, Guys, I see, like, a stone room, kind of like back in Dolob, and then there's like a lever or a lever in the room. I don't see that dangerous so far, so y'all want to go in? Yes. I got a bad feeling about this, but I'm going to go. Is Brig Meager going in? I, yes, of course. Don't call me a coward. Still gonna call you a coward. Um, all right, so I suppose um, we'll tie the rope to that tree outside and start going down. Okay. Unless there's something else to tie it in here for a rope. Yeah, no, it's going to have to be that tree. Okay. All righty then. Let's get going, guys. Huzzah! <laughs> I had to delete that crap. 
<laughs> it's like a cartoon and everyone like hangs for a minute before they drop. And they blink twice. <laughs> Delete crap? What? Blink? Yeah, there was something blocking the hole. Oh. <laughs> That was not a euphemism, Blue Octopus. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> I was about to make a meta uh, meta game joke <laughs> that who brought had deja vu because this is where he, this is where he was. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Oh, okay. what the? This was under the smokehouse this whole time. I told you it was Droon. Do we go through the door? And you all thought I was a liar. No, we didn't. It's just, we didn't think that the Droon part was wrong. We thought that the murdering the mayor's wife part was wrong. Wait, where is where is that sea lover? I guess whatever you want to call him, carrying Melissa, Melinda, whatever her name is. Madison. Madison. Yes. Oh, you mean human trick. <laughs> Human what? Human trick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they're up top. Yeah, they should probably yeah. stay up top. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair. Up. That's a good point. There's no way. If something were to jump out at us here, uh, I think a Madison would would not fare well. What is this lever? It just looks like a lever to you. I really want to pull it, but we probably shouldn't until we know. Probably for the trap door. Uh, Chad well, casually uh, leans on against it to like push it back. All right. Right click it. A bad door. No. All right. Um, nothing noticeable happens. Do you like do you like? <laughs> This could have all flooded. <laughs> all right, well, uh, shall we take the closed door or the open hallway? What do you think, Mr. Meager? Uh, the, uh, that's not fair. I, I'm not an adventurer. <laughs> Just a murderer, I guess. I didn't murder anyone. Well, you wanted to. Attempted. You would have. <laughs> if we wouldn't uh, have stopped you. The Florentine Lord does not think lowly of those warriors of his word. You yeah. zealots. Kelly's gonna try Has, this. Story. Hast thou never... Slain a, fo slain a foe before? I have, but hmm? but the circumstances are different. How? I usually know someone deserves to die before I take their life. And I know that she is a drunic witch who deserves to die. We'll see about that. Oh, right, stuff Shad, Shadwell, stuff what are you doing? He's going to try to open this door. It is locked. Uh, Kelly's tried this door. It is also locked. Hey. Uh, Grisha. Crowbar. You want to keep moving, Shad? Well. Also, Grisha, if you're going to crowbar, I'll need a strength. Check. Yeah, like, open it. You can right click it. Uh, Shadow was going to try to break this door with the Polex. Uh, yeah, that's enough. You may right click it. Kelly's going to roll stealth to go down that area. Okay. Pretty sure right. Shad Bowler just breaking down all this, <laughs> just breaking down everything. <laughs> yeah. Smashing everything. <laughs> He's just not, or at least they're not burning it this time. Three, four. Yeah, he would if it came to that. Yeah. 
I know he would. He sure loved it last time. Uh, That's one round. Uh, Discovered a new hobby. Is anyone else going to come along? Because I moved Stealth for one round. All right. Uh, Declaration phase for Shadwell. Oh, my God, no. Crump's with me, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Crump is pulling up. Are you guys going to call out for help? I got your back. Well, it's Declaration, so what are you guys going to do? Um... Uh, you're gonna hear Shadwell yell so loudly it echoes down the hallway. It's like stay back, foul beasts! Oh god damn it. <sighs> He's uh readying his uh pole axe. Crump, what are you doing? Uh, uh Crump who we have we should save our invulnerability potions, correct? We only have two left. One yeah, let's oh, save him until. Uh, in that case, Crump is going to equip his staff and and uh, scream out to the rest of the the party. Yeah, we got some critters in here. All right, so I'm going to ask the party: Would you guys like to finish this combat or start next week at right in the combat? I, yeah, I, I, I'm this okay song with is making me want to finish it. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the song is lit. It's from that nun game, Endica. Yeah, yeah, I recognize it. Love that. Yeah. Well, as I mean, it's, I, it's. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> as much as I'd like to finish the combat, I, I also don't want to make anybody wait at an airport any longer than they're going to have to. <laughs> <Yep>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, if it's going to take too long, then yeah, I should probably. Well, that's up to the two of you. I'm okay with waiting. Yeah, we can personally. wait. Personally. Yep. All right, well, yeah. then to make things even more interesting, how about I add some monsters on the other side so you guys can all jump into combat next week? Oh, buggering hell. <laughs> you guys cool with that? Yeah. 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 All right, let Could me add a man. For a nice uh, yeah. cliffhanger. I have faith that you're not going to try to kill us immediately. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. I don't think we've fought spiders or giant clumps of rats before. Yeah, you dodged those ones and drew them all. Yeah. Much to my dismay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. All right, everybody. Yeah, sorry it had to be such a short session. But I appreciate you guys all showing up. Yeah. Yeah, Have I, a I good. Uh, it, it was fun. It's You're the one who's been yawning. Now I've. Been... <laughs> <laughs> Did all that frost punk too, or what? Yeah, I stayed up too late. Yeah, I want to play that game, but yeah, thanks everybody. Um, Are we getting XP? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. So for neutralizing that hostage situation and. Uh, being very efficient with your time, I'm going to give everybody 400 XP. Yay. Oh, dang. Does anybody level up? Let's let's take care of that. Yes, indeed. I, yes. Okay. Let's have the, the bard go first. I mean, the magician. <laughs> go first. Okay. The, bar, the magician who's actually a bard. <laughs> um, that's, that's 400, right? 400. Zero, zero. Sorcerer. Plus your modifier. No, you're a, oh, magician. a magician. Sorry. Yeah. yeah no. Plus... Wait, maybe I over... Maybe I... Oh, good. No. Wait a minute. No. 1975 plus 400 is no. not 25. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> I think the last... I think the last time I looked at it changed. I, I could have sworn it was 2000. Okay, I did not. <laughs> you have 2375, so be sure to put that on your XP. I, I will. Uh, River, did you say you leveled up? Yes. I'm sitting River is an enchantress. 3807. XP. So that gets me. Yeah, 3,500 is what. 
what you needed. So roll 1d6 for your HP plus your constitution modifier, which is... Zero. Zero. Yep. Three. So that puts you at 11 HP max. Woo! Um, you gain one... No, you have three glamours now. So you may, do you want to roll for the glamour or you want to just pick one? Um, so like last time I rolled, okay, there are glamours that I know would be very useful, but I also, I also want to keep it fair. I rolled last time. Should I roll this time? Or should roll, I well, there are 15 glamours. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, roll a d20. Let's do random. That's more fun. D20? I'm going to roll it away yeah. so it doesn't get trapped. Uh-oh. We're a gambling house here. 10, okay. 10 is fool's gold, man. Fool's That's gold. Right. Caster makes copper coins appear as gold to gullible mortals. Ah! <laughs> You'll yeah. never use that. <laughs> Chrissy has that. That's awesome. Uh, and be sure to change your saving numbers. Uh, Doom becomes 10. Ray becomes 11. Hold becomes 12. Blast becomes 15. And Spell becomes 13. Fool's gold. I also get to roll for a rune. Okay, and then don't forget your detect magic set five. Okay, yeah, so let's roll for a rune. Roll me um, any die first. I just want to see odd or even. Odd is going to be a greater rune, and even is going to be a mighty rune. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay. I'll roll a d4. Okay. Odd or even. Odd. Okay. Okay. Now roll a d6. So greater rune. Sway the mind. A single creature of any kind, person, beast, or monster, must save versus spell or be charmed by fairy magic. Fairies gain plus four bonus to save. Friendship. Subject's mind is swayed such that they regard the caster as a close friend and comes to the caster's defense. Okay, okay. All right, I think that's it for River Under Stars. Did anybody else level up? Grisha? Uh, I don't think so. It says here... Oh, you leveled up last week. Okay. Um, Shadwell? Not yet. <clears throat> How far away are you? Uh, like 200-ish. Okay. Crump? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have like 7,000 yeah, to go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I haven't, I didn't level up. Okay. Yeah. Dang, who brought so close? I was him? close. I thought I, I don't know why. I thought uh, I was very close, but I was not. I think I was, I thought I was maybe with Inigos. Okay. All right. Uh, that's, uh, that was a great session for being so short. Uh, if everybody wants to send me a copy of their character sheets, I will print them out from my records. Uh, yes, next game. Yeah. I remember that we have that 65 Pelucidium to split. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what would be really funny is just, just give it all to Crop and then he donates it. <laughs> becomes super buff. <laughs> <laughs> that could be cool. All right. Thank you for playing with Thank us. You. Thanks for coming. Safe mm. trip. Bye. Bye. Good night. Cool. All right, everyone. Bye. Later. Thanks for sharing your screen.